case. Learning uh, Hasidic discourse that was said by the Al Terebe in Terah Or. Vayihim Mikits Shunosayim Yomu Falachel, which is uh, connected with the Pasha, Pasha's Mikits. So, in the continuation of this Pasuk, it speaks about the dreams of power, about the seven. Uh, seven initiated cows that that swallowed the uh, fat cows, the healthy cows, and and uh, after devouring them, the initiated cows remained initiated. Okay. Initiated. Initiated. You mean skinny? <laughs> so in the, it's more than skinny. Yeah, like you know, bony. Skinny on steroids. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So... Like Simon Dion looks like now. In the Parsha Zoo... I don't know who she is. It's okay. He's better off. Parsha Zoo is the Parsha of the So this Parsha is actually connected to the Parsha before Parsha Vayeshev. Parsha Vayeshev ends off with Veloi Zohar Sar Amashkim Yosef Vayish Kocheu. The butler did not remember Yosef. And the Torah says he forgot about him, which is a double expression, right? He didn't remember him and he forgot about him. Why should he remember Yosef? Because Yosef told him that he's going to survive, right? He would think uh, he would remember Yosef. And he saw that exactly what Yosef said happened to the baker. And he survived. But if Sarah Mashkim, if the butler would remember Yosef, Yosef would not come to this greatness. The only reason why he remembered Yosef is because and now power. So we didn't want him to remember Yosef. So now that after we see the how the the events folded, we don't want to. We didn't want him to remember him right away. But the Torah tells us that he didn't remember him. But he said he was punished. Uh, uh, Yosef was punished. Right. They said that he because that he somewhat. Uh, Trusted or thought that he that his Yeshua would come, his salvation would come through him. So, but but it says Veloy Zohar and then Vayimiki. So this is a continuation. Right. Uvi Wanda is in charge of the alcohol. What? <laughs> in in. In the uh, Hasidic, uh, Hasidic lingo, you say mashke. Yeah. You call it lechaim. In Hebrew, it's called mashke. Yeah, mashke is liquor. Uviru, I think, like when there is power in the sar of mashke in the klipa, kach zeru mazel oser likim shekmoykem b'sitro dekdusha is gamkem b'chinasid. So yesterday we learned. Always remember that power was. Uh, is connected with Klippa, but we, we learned that there's also power in Kedusha. Where it tells us that there's also Sarah Mashkim in Kedusha. There's a butler in Kedusha. There's a butler in Klippa, a bartender, and there's a bartender in Kedusha. What is, what is it? Let's see, what's the side of Kedusha of a bartender? There are four elements in the soul of man. Which is the fire, air, water, and dirt. Eish ruach maim ofel. Yisoy da eish mishkona balev. The element of fire, the fire abode is in the heart. Okay, that's what. Mekir alechus me'ameach. And the lechus means the moisture is from the brain. Shishamu Mishkan Yisoyda Maim Because the brain is the source Mishkan, it's the abode for the element of water So the, the spiritual fire in the soul of man is in the heart And that's why the heart is where the Midas are Chesed, kindness or Givua or severity you say hot-blooded person. He, he gets excited. He get he get heated up. Um, his heart start uh, pumping. Mm-hmm. 
If someone gets excited, his heart is like racing. Like, yeah. The, the mind is, is an intellect, it's cold. You understand it, you, you get the idea. It's all, it's all calculate. calculus, right? <laughs> it's calculating. But uh, the, the uh, emotions are in the heart. You say the Aish Mishkan Balev, so the element of fire is in the heart. Makira Lechus Mamayach, the source of Lechus, the moisture, liquid is in the brain. Shishamu Mishkan Yasai Damayim. This is the, the element of water is in the Mayach, in the brain. Why? Because it's cold. Like the water. The lungs are taking in different kinds of mashke, of liquid. The lungs are taking in liquid? Yes. Not too much, though. The, 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 uh, we'll see, soon see what he means. The lechus ma'amayach al-adea kone. Lekar reschem alev. So, the kone, we have the, maybe the esophagus, is... We have a, a pipe that he's referencing to. It says the uh, kone. Kone is the pipe, one of the pipes. I don't know if he means the trachea or the either the trachea or the esophagus. But he says that uh, the kone, the kone's uh, job is to cool off the heat of the heart, which is interesting. It's almost like a radiator that you have a yeah. coolant that goes right. in and uh, gets cooled off and goes back into the system. So he says the kone, the kone's job is to cool off the, it's the throat, heart. No? It's trachea. So yeah. you have the air from trachea, the, the blood goes through the lungs, gets aerated, and the, the trachea air. Ah, I never thought of it that way. Don't tell me it already. <laughs> I'm not, no, I just didn't think of it. So you make sure it doesn't go down the wrong pipe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have yeah, this yeah, expression. Sure. So because the the pipe of, of air. But interesting, he he says that the that it takes in there's the rea, the lung is is I guess ref referencing to the esophagus, takes in different kinds of liquids. And the cone, which is the trachea, takes in Lechus. Lechus is almost like uh, moisture or like, like almost like sweat through the cone, through the uh, trachea to cool off the heat of the heart. Anyhow, so we have, and, and then he says similarly, we're looking at the physical body. He says similarly, it happens with the godly soul. Meaning the godly soul also has ish, ruach, maim of fire, air, water, and dirt. Yisoid ha maim ba moyach, ubechin as chokmo vedas ma vedas havai ba moyach machshavta. The element of, of water in the moyach, in the brain, is the chokmo, is wisdom and understanding that you use to serve Hashem ba moyach machshavta. So, meaning you use your, your intellect to contemplate. To contemplate what? The greatness of Hashem. Ve'af says, what's the point of contemplating? Atrev asked the question. He brings the Zoya that says, No thought can grasp Hashem at all. So what's the point of contemplating? If you're not going to be able to grasp Him anyway. So this is our lectiv. But it's also written in Mishlei, Shlema HaMelech says, Noida Basheorim Bala. The husband, her husband, is known, is known in the gates. We say it in Asia Shai, right? So we say, the husband is known in the gates. Kol Chad Lefum Shiodil. He says, right, you can't grasp Hashem, but each one, according to the level of his intellect, has the obligation to study as much as he can, to contemplate and try to understand as much as he can. By grasping Hashem, we're not be able to, but there's a shar, shar is also a measure. A simple translation of shar is gate. 
is known in the gates. But Shah is also Shiu, is how much you can have. Each one has a different Shiu, different capabilities and different intelligence. So we should try to use whatever we got from Hashem to understand as much as we can. Ve'ainu, ha'izboinus bevechinas, hispashtus gduloso izborech, to contemplate on the concept of the dissemination of Hashem's greatness, lemailo aden kates, which is going upwards to no end, to no limit, ulemata aden tachlis, and coming down also with no end, ein oid milvade. So in one word, to contemplate on the concept that it says in Pashas Vayeschanon, the, the words of Pashas Vayeschanon, where it says, ein Oid milvado. There's nothing but Hashem to try to contemplate on Gdulas Hashem, on the greatness of, of Hashem, the greatness of, of Godliness. That goes upwards to no end and comes down to no end. And that there is no other reality beside Him. So these two, really two things within one con It says, thinking number one about the infinity of, of, of Godliness, that it has no limitations, the concept of Ein Sof, whether in the higher worlds or coming into this world, and the concept of Ein Oid Milvado, that there is no other Metzius beside the Metzius of Hashem. Ki veruach piv kol tsevam. This also we say in Davening, it's from Til and Lamed Gimel, where it says, Beruach piv, with the breath of his mouth, called Tzavom, all his, all its battalions, and its, all of his troops were created by Ruach Piv, the breath of his mouth, Vekula Kamei Keloi Choshiv. And this is also expression in the Zoyar, on Daniel, on the book of Daniel, where it says there, that all is not before him, insignificant before Hashem. Imagine you can create a, a, a palace with, with, with speech. Let it be a castle. And the castle comes into being. What kind of significance would you have to the castle? No significance whatsoever, because you can create, a, you can create another 500 of them in one minute. Why people value their home so much? Because they, they worked hard for it. That's why bread of shame doesn't work. Give them the house, give them money, give, 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 give. You can look, it's not valued. It, it, it says about the Tzemach Tzedek that he asked the, that his, the Alter Rebbe wanted to give him a bracha. He should have success in his learning. He says, no, I want to work for it. So after years went by, he said that he regret for doing that. Why? Because if he had taken it, he could toil on a, a whole different level. Meaning he says, toiling is, is, is a given. You ha you'd have to toil in this world. But you, you, can, start you, can, you can start from a different... Start out with a million in the bank. So. Exactly. So a smart boy, a smart person will take it and, and say... I'm going to take it to the next level. A lazy person would say, I have a house, I have a car. What, why do I need to work? <laughs> Let me just... Uh... Chill. <laughs> Get a big screen. Yeah. It's amazing how the... I remember you go to Costco, these screens were three, four, five thousand dollars big screens. Now you, you, you go to Walmart and it's a 85 inch screen and four or five hundred dollars. Right, it's like, amazing. And better quality. It, it almost, yeah, I'm sure. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, this is, I think it's like almost like funded by the government. Just keep, keep, keep people like in front of the screen. It is. It's, <laughs> and, it is funded by And statistically, it's funded by the Chinese statistically, government. people spend six hours a day in front of the screen. Imagine how much, how smart they can become. 
Kemur le Moshe. So the Atra brings the, this example of the of our speech. Kemur le Moshe, Dibur Yishel Adam, the speech of men. Every person, according to his level, can he can come to knowledge, can uh, achieve knowledge, ule hasig, and to uh, to grasp. Ki ein oid meaning everyone can come to this understanding. It's what, what the, the understanding of Pashas by Vaischanu. The pasuk over there it's, it says, "Ein oid There is nothing else besides Hashem. Everyone can come to that understanding. Each one on a different level, but they can come to that understanding. The higher ones, the lower ones. They're all created from Ruach Piv, from Hashem's breath. There is nothing outside of Him. And therefore, they're insignificant. So why there everything is insignificant before Hashem? Because it was created from Dibu, from speech. As we say in Parshas, in, 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 in Parshas Bereshis, Omar Vayehi. He said, and it came into being. Because that it was so easy, he said, and came into being, Kula Keloi Hashiv. Everything is insignificant. So that's that's the meaning of the Zayah, the statement of the Zayah. Everything is not before him. <laughs> okay? So, Vayesoid Hayesh, what is the element of fire? So we spoke about Yesoid Hamayim. The element of of water and the, and the ruach ruach is the breath. What is the yisoid amayim? Just uh, going back for a second, yisoid amayim we said is the is the moyach, right? Is the brain because the, the brain has water in it, right? What makes it that it's not going to spill? By the way, there is, there is water in the brain. What keeps it from spilling? If I do a headstand. There's a covering around, it's called a midges, it's, oh, the, it's, it's So it's protected. It's, but then we can, but still people can get the uh, loose balance if it's, uh, yeah. you're shaking it too much, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and is, it, is it the same amount and the same liquid from the time we were born, or it's a new, new liquid that is it being... Punishes, but it goes through the spinal cord, but it's all self-contained. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's it's a closed system. Closed system. Fascinating. So, so is it possible to fix spine injuries through the brain directly, or can you bypass the spine uh, injury through, if it's not, if it's like a nerve? Well, you can't go below. I mean, because it's damaged below. So, so the brain keeps the spinal cord, and then. All the nerves come out, so at different levels, that's why you can have, you know, cuss for you know, loss yeah. of limb or just a, right. or the lower extremity. So. And can they create new nerves, people? Okay. They're working on it now. Oh, working I mean, on with, it? With um, stem cell that itself is not able to regenerate. Uh-huh. Well, it, it has, but we're trying to figure it out. The, 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 the nerves are there, are there just for the sensation? To, to what what's the functionality? So there's 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 sensation and then there's also motor that, that allow the muscles to contract and then uh -huh. the feeling. There's actually five components. There's uh -huh. light touch, vibration, temperature. And the, the sense of a taste, smell that has to do with that or no? Well, it's, it's nerve endings in the tongue. So I mean, just like if you if you prick your finger, you can feel pain, you can feel cold, you can feel vibration. Those nerves. Are for for taste, mm -hmm. so they don't feel vibration, but they have other um, functions. Interesting. So so going back to Yisod Hamayim Bamoch, he says the element of water is in the brain, right? So what is the what is the brain in, is in charge of? Chokma and Das. So we're taking it to Avoid Hashem to serving Hashem is the contemplation aspect. Contemplating on what? So he, we, Alter Rebbe tells us, contemplating lemala aden ketz lemata aden tachlit. In in one word is contemplating on the greatness of Hashem. What is the greatness of Hashem that we can somewhat understand? 
is the concept of Ein Sof. Okay? The end. So there is no end to his presence, uh, his effect on the higher world, and there is no uh, end to his impact, effect, existence, uh, being in this in the lower world. And then he ends off with the, the Pasuk in Tilim, there's nothing but Hashem. So there's no metziut, there's no existence out, that is outside of him. Saying that if, if we're going to say, it's like, I, I, then I, told, I, had a, I have friends that I work with, the people that are not, per se, religious. So one guy goes to, he goes to places that are not kosher. So I said, you're not afraid of Hashem? Like, so it's like you're going to these places. So he says to me, Hashem does not go to that place. <laughs> that, that's a place that is completely not, uh, not oh, for him. <laughs> it's not for him. He, he doesn't enter those places. So, uh, means that there's no metziut outside of him. There's no, there's no existence that is outside of him. So, so uh, so he said, it, with the breath of his mouth, all, the whole world was created, as we said, he said, and everything came into being. And then we're going into the element of fire. Element of fire. So what, is the, what does fire represent? Fire represents, on a spiritual level, the thirst that is, that is in the heart. That understand once he contemplate a person contemplates on the greatness of Hashem, he understand how is it really in reality everything is insignificant in the eyes of Hashem. And therefore he turns his desire to connect to Hashem. Nothing is really important but Hashem. Shalevet ha'olam me'leah, like a flame that goes up by itself, le'itkalel be'or Hashem v'yichudo itbarach, to be one with Hashem. Ve'ino chafetz liot lemata. He doesn't want to be down here below. Keteva o ha'esh, shenimshach betivo melemata lemala. Like the nature of fire, that naturally is going its own going upwards. A candle always, like the candle always tries to go upward. A Hasidut speaks about this concept as the fire is trying, is trying to depart from the weak, right? To live the weak. Why? Because it, it, it's, its nature is spiritual and wants to go up. The Shama wants to do the same thing. Nadav and Avil, the two sons of Aaron, did it, right? Klot HaNefesh. That the soul left the body because they came too close, right? So mashein kem bechinat ha'amayim, but water is the opposite of fire. Umelamalamata, the waters are coming from above down. Fire is going up. Water is coming down. Shamayim yodim makom gavol lemakom namuch. So the water are coming. That a person leaves, you are in this world against your will. No one asked you. Whether you want to come here, or you don't want to come here, whether you're going to wake up in the morning or not, it was decided that you will wake up in the morning. Baal Korchecha, against your will. I thought you choose to come down here. Is that true? You choose your life? That Mishnah says that you, ch you have a free choice of how to conduct your life. No, no, no. When, you, when you're born, before you're born, your soul no, so chooses you, to come this world because it's got to do whatever it is it's got to do. It's got so to in Perek Gimel of Nida, it says, oto, But they don't ask him, you want to come down or not? Because no one will say yes. No Neshama will say yes to this journey. So the Shvua is, please be a Tzadik, don't be Rasha. Perek Gimel de Nida, Mashbi'im Oto, Tehi Tzadik V'al Tehi Rasha. And 
So it says, Akol Natun Varashud Natuna, meaning that everything was already pre decided. Everything was decided for you. One thing it's not decided is Tzadik or Rasha. That you, you can choose. The, the rest of it is all, is all uh, the journey is decided. It says the Gemara speaks about uh, Elisha ben Avuya. Elisha ben Avuya lived his whole life like a tzaddik, and the, in the last uh, years of his life, he became an apostate, he uh, became a heretic. And uh, when he passed away, the rabbis had a discussion whether he should come back to fix what he needs to, to fix, or he should stay there and go through the uh, go through Gehenna, and uh, then he will finish with Gehenna and we'll get to Gan Eden for all the good things that he did also. He was the teacher of Rabbi Meir. So the Gemara says, Mutav de ledaine, that, that's the expression of the Gemara, it's better for him to be judged, and let him go to the world to come. Don't come back here. So, Baal so we're here, it says, Baal Kochatachai, the Mishnah says in Pirkei Avot, you are here against your will, and we die against our will. Once we're here, we don't want to leave the world. Most people want to stay, stick around as much as they can. Baal Kochatachai, Liten, Din, So, <laughs> against our will, we have to give reckoning for what, uh, for what was done. Okay? So, but what is he trying to tell us? No, no way, no way. How can you how can you bribe some, someone that has everything? <laughs> oh, you do tshuva, tshuva, of course. But but all all of it can be done before before someone dies. It's a famous uh, anecdote in the Gemara where they asked the Rabbi said shuv yom echad lifne mitatcha. It says do tshuva one day before you die. So he said, well, how do you know when you die? So you don't know. So you have to do tshuva today. Don't wait. Every day you try to do tshuva. Every day we have to do what the Zohar says. You have to be mimare de chushbina. What is mimare de chushbina? You have to be a calculative person. Trying to calculate where you're going, what you did. And uh, if something needs to be corrected, correct it right away. Don't wait for... Uh, for if maybe you find a better time, better this, better that, immediately f try to fix it. So in the concept of, of uh, in the concept of water and fire, really two opposite things. In water we are pulling down, they're coming from above, like rain that comes, that comes from above. We are trying to bring down godliness, Torah, mitzvot, whatever we can pull down. On, on a spiritual level, we're pulling it down. Once, once you're doing Torah Mitzvot, you're bringing godliness into the world. You're introducing godliness into the world. The aspect of Esh is the other way around. I'm wanting, I want to get closer to Hashem. And closer to Hashem means removing yourself somewhat from this world. A person cannot come close to Hashem and be very, very physical, extremely involved, in his steak, in his plate, in his food, in his uh, physical pleasures and desires. It doesn't work together. He has, he has to give in some of his physicality to become more spiritual, to be closer to Hashem. But it's two different modes. The mode of fire and the mode of water. The mode of fire is less, less bodily things, less material things, more spiritual things to get closer, to go up, physically going up. And water is I'm bringing it down into the world, introducing godliness to the world. He says that really one is, is countering the other. Because what, what does water do? Water put out fire. You have a fire, you put water on it, and, and you put it out. But fire can evaporate water also, right? So one is taking care of the other. Remember we said about the, the esophagus and the trachea, right? So he says, what is the functionality of the trachea? To cool off the heart. He says over here is the same concept. Torah mitzvot are pulling down, that's the water. It cools off the thirst that the neshama has to leave the body. The neshama wants to be one with Hashem, it's like the flickering candles, it wants to go up. 
So what keeps the neshama in the body? <clears throat> keeps the, what keeps the neshama in the body is the fact that you do Torah mitzvahs. If you do Torah mitzvahs, it comes down. It says, listen, it's not so bad in this world. Here's a taste of spirituality. Here's something for you to, to, to get by. That will let you get by. And that's how we find some somewhat uh, e equilibrium in this world. That you, uh, you know, it's not perfect, but we, we get by. Why? Because we get these dosages of, of spirituality. We, we, we feed the neshama. We, and, and a lot of people don't know this because they... they they're continuing with their pursuit after the boat and the, and the, the watch and the, it has to be Rolex and it has to be this and, so, and they, they, they're not satisfied and it goes on and on and whatever they do is and they go to the psychiatrist, maybe that will help and the therapist and his wife goes to the... So, but you have to understand the shama is not feeling comfortable no matter what you're going to do unless you bring spirituality it, you're not going to calm it down. This, the coolant is not coming in. Now, the Rebbe writes in Tanya that when we learn Torah, the Neshama is freed at, that, at those moments. Moments of learning Torah, the Neshama is like, say, so, okay, I'm, I'm breathing. <laughs> some, some. Because if you think about it, most of, of our day is involved with physical things. So the Neshama is, is somewhat, uh, even if you do the physical thing for the purpose of spiritual things, it's still the Neshama is not uh, directly being... Uh, uh, nurtured. And it says, Kmoshe Katuv, it says in, in the prophecy of Yeshaya, Hevei kol tzome, or hoi kol tzome lechul amayim. Kmoshe Kostum o Kmoche. It says, every thirsty person should go to the water. So what's a big chidush that if a, a thirsty you go to the, you go to water? So now that we we understand that there is the concept of avas Hashem, avas Hashem that leads to this burning desire, love of God that the neshama wants to depart, wants to leave the body. So what should a person do? He's tell me he's thirsty. He wants godliness. He wants spirituality. The neshama wants to live the body. So it says, Lechu lemaim, go to the water. What is water? What is Torah? The Torah will cool it off a little bit. It's like the concept of Rotsoy and Shoy, right? Rotsoy is the neshama wants to be close to Hashem, leaving the body. And the Shoy says, one second, but what does Hashem want me to, to do in this world? Why am I here? Oh, Hashem wants me to the Torah mitzvah. So the Shoy, <coughs> but the Shoy is difficult. Shav is very difficult because once you're close to the, you're close to, uh, we we'll call it to heaven, you're, cl you're close to God in this, why would you want to go back to, once you see the truth, why would you want to go back to this uh, grind of, of the physical world? So the chula mine, go back to the water. So we have a mechaber, we have a connector. The connector is the element, the, the element of water with the element of fire. What is the connector between the two? The kone, the trachea. The trachea is the connector between the two. And let's see what is a, a kone. Remember, we started the discussion with the butler, right? Sarah Mashki. He says the Kone is called Saramashkin. Kone is the minister of the beverages, the, the alcohol. Why? Because he's the one that takes the, that brings coolant to the heart. He's the one that cools it off. What, what does it mean? Kene, Kene Chokma. How do you acquire Chokma? How do you acquire Bina? Learn Torah. So the Kone. The kene, the, the buying of Torah mitzvahs, kene chokma, kene bina, is the one that mamshich it, the one that brings it into the heart. We know that in Chassidus they put a, a strong emphasis on that it should never re remain intellectual. Everything you learn and you know has to go down to the emotions. Ante Rebbe writes in Tanya, in, in, in Perik Haftes, he writes about the the dullness of, of, of the heart 
that sometimes even a Benoni experiences, that it, he says his heart is like a, a rock, a stone, he uses the word a stone, that it, it, he understands, he learns about spiritual things, he learns about, about godliness, about Hashem, he contemplates, but it doesn't go into his emotions. You don't see him, you get, he doesn't get excited about it, it doesn't permeate him. So the, the, over here it tells us that Sarah Mashkin represents this level. That's the one that takes it and brings it in. And we'll continue, God willing, tomorrow to see about Sarah Mashkin and, and, and the Chaloyim and the dream. And how, how is it all coming together?